My name's Hugh Davies, I'm a postdoctoral researcher at Charles Darwin University and I conduct small mammal research out here on the Tiwi Islands, just off the north coast of the Northern Territory. So the Tiwi Islands are a really special place for native mammals, mainly because uh, these islands still support really healthy populations of a whole range of mammal species that have disappeared across large areas of Northern Australia. So the brush-tailed rabbit rat is the real focus of this research. It's a small rodent which was once widespread over much of northern Australia but now only persists in a few areas. And one of these areas is the Tiwi Islands. As part of my PhD, I went back and resurveyed a whole number of uh, sites that were first trapped in the year 2000 and I showed that when it came to the brush-tailed rabbit rat, there had been a significant drop in the number of animals I was actually catching in the traps. I guess this project started back in 2017 and we got money from the Norman Wenton Hall Foundation to estimate feral cat densities. To do this, we deployed very large grids of camera traps. So that was how we looked at the feral cat populations. And now we're out here monitoring the small mammal populations we're running a grid of 300 live traps, which we check first thing every morning, and we close the traps through the day, and then we reopen them and rebait them each night. And we do that for four consecutive nights. And when we catch an animal, um, we weigh it, we pit tag it, we give it uh, an ear tag so we can identify each individual. Um, and then using the same statistics that we use to estimate feral predator densities, we estimate native mammal densities. So I've been working with the Tiwi Land Rangers, Willie Rioli, Colin Karanawa, uh, for a good six years now. I'm Willie Rioli, uh, Tiwi Land Rangers on the Tiwi Islands uh, supervisor slash mentor. Our role is to basically try and manage and look after country um, outside of the communities um, and making sure that you know what's what's out there in terms of our trying to protect all our bush tucker and all our uh, plants and and all that from wildfires um, and hence you know and, and that's the reason why we trying to change our method in terms of doing bush for burning uh, by burning early instead of late. I think by breaking up and leaving patches of grass here and there, it's helping the critters and the, you know, the, the, the animals to escape from that sort of stuff. Um, so with, with Hugh's work, you'll get to know what it's like in terms of um, the hard work that he does, you know, walking long distance and, and, and um, camping out for a few days. It's, you know, and he does it for, for, a, hell, you know, for a couple of weeks in a row. And so it's, um, yeah, no, no, I think it's a huge part of the work that he does for, for my Tiwi people. So the collaboration with the Rangers has just been essential and it's just been an absolute pleasure. Without Willie, without Colin, without the rest of the guys, there's no way I could have done my research out here over the last six years. So the good thing about the cool fires that are done this time of year is that they are so low intensity that they'll leave large um, patches of grass and large woody debris on the ground. And we know that predators really like recently burnt areas because they can hunt so effectively in those areas. So just leaving some patches and some structure for the native mammals can be really important for them to survive. So one thing that we're looking at in these areas is how the 3D structure of the area might influence predators and we're doing this by scanning these large areas with a lidar scanner. So one of the outcomes of this project will be a greater capacity to conduct fire management in a way that mitigates the impact of feral cats and other predators uh, to hopefully conserve a whole range of culturally and ecologically important species.
it's not just working with the rangers but the entire community. We've got strong li links with Tiwi College so we take the students for classes and yeah it's all about just increasing community awareness of important scientific um, aspects of the Tiwi Islands. You know, Tiwi people have been studying this land for thousands of years and they're always going to know more about this um, country than I ever will. But hopefully we can work together to combine Western science that I bring to the table and their Indigenous knowledge uh, to ensure the conservation of Tiwi biodiversity.